relax there. Okay, mm -hmm. pain free? Pain free. Awesome. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. How long have you been having the low back pain? A little over a year. Prior to a year ago, did you have any back pain at all? No. Never? No. Okay. Why did it start a year ago? What happened? Uh, I delivered my daughter. Mm -hmm. Exactly one year ago? About 14 months ago. 14 months ago. So 14 months you deliver your daughter. I did. And then like a couple months later, the pain started or did it start immediately after uh, it was, labor delivery? It was pretty immediate. Mm -hmm. it, it, I, I honestly, I think it was somewhere right around when I delivered her. It may have been during delivery, in fact. Got it. So a year has gone by. What have you been doing? What have you done for the pain? Nothing. Nothing. I tried yoga. Did that help? It didn't. Did it, it make it worse? It made it worse at the time. So, and you had a history of doing yoga prior to that? I did. And it was always good? Yes. And then it was bad? And then it was bad. Got it. So, labor and delivery, history of yoga, yoga helped, but then after labor and delivery, it, it doesn't help at all. Yeah. Did you ever get assessed by any other doctor or practitioner, anybody? My medical doctor. Mm -hmm. What did they say? Um, they felt around on my back for just a moment, and mm -hmm. she said it was muscular. Mm -hmm gave me a printout of some different exercises I could do and sent me on my way. Did you do those exercises? I tried them a little bit. Did they help? Not really. Hmm. So what do you think about that diagnosis? I didn't believe it or agree with it, and I knew I needed a different kind of help. I just, mm -hmm. uh, I just wasn't ready. Did you tell her that you had a labor delivery and then that's when the back pain started? I and did. she said it's muscular? I did. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look, shall we? Yes. Can you show me exactly where you feel the pain? Yes. Um, my pain is pretty much located here in my back, mm -hmm. and then I get shooting pains that run through the center all the mm. way down into my thigh, sometimes into my calf. Now, it does go to the calf? It does. Okay. Do you ever get pain, tingling, numbness into your feet? In my feet and in my pinky finger. Well, now you're feeling stuff in your pinky finger as well. I, I have been. Do you have any history of neck pain as well? Yes. Do you get headaches? I do. Okay. How long has the neck pain been going on for? Mm, not quite as long as the lower back. Started here. It started there. And then you started developing neck problems. I did. Maybe about six months later. Mm. Okay. And then does this side, does it feel, you feel the pain, but does it feel weak as well? I think it, yes, mm -hmm. it's definitely weaker. How about tightness? Yeah, tightness. Okay. May we take a look? Yes, All absolutely. Right. So what I'd like you to do is have you go face down here. Okay. We're gonna check the alignment of your low back. The most commonly misaligned bone during labor and delivery is the sacrum. Now this is where you pointed to the pain. Is that the area that you get the pain? That is exactly the area. So that's the upper sacroiliac joint, which is a synovial part of the joint, which means it's uh, capsule fluid filled, as opposed to the bottom, which is more fibrous and just kind of follows the natural movement of the hips. So if the hips are in good alignment, then the SI joint does pretty well. The hips are in bad alignment then you get in trouble pretty quick but if you have a baby push up into the SI joint during labor and delivery and get you in trouble now it feels like the lumbosacral joint is involved too do you get any pain in this area yes i think that's where the pain originated got it and typically there'll be a compensation at the higher part of the lumbars uh, pain intensity up here, anything? Not as much, no. You feel it goes it tight further there? up. It does feel tight. And it goes even further up up here? Yes. Now I'm just going to scan the full spine here. It's not uncommon, very common actually, with any sciatica type of symptoms to also have neck problems and arm pain problems. Now, 
Now we're getting pretty close to headache town here. How's that spot right there? That's, it hurts. Is definitely. that about where you get it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it takes... Sacrum. So this to me definitely feels like your sacrum. What I'm going to do now is just a leg length test. And you have a shorter leg on the left side. And if it is the sacrum, typically it'll give it even shorter which it does, that's exactly what it does. And so we're gonna isolate some musculature here. What I want you to do is take this straight leg here and lift it up as high as you can. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, thank you. Go ahead and let's compare the other side. Okay, what did that feel like to you? What felt different from side to side? Um, my right could go higher. Yeah, it did you feel more confident as well? Yes, definitely. Got it. Okay, now I'd like you to bend this knee and push it up as high as you can. I'm gonna push again so you go ahead and do that again. Hold, and now let me feel the other side. Bend this first and hold. Push, glutes really strong. So that indicates that it's more the sacral il iliac joint versus that lumbosacral. So we're gonna get right on that sacral iliac joint. Couple more tests here. You're doing great. You're doing okay? Yes, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Okay, any pain or compression in the low back? No. But how about when I do this side? No. Okay, great. When I do both sides, anything? A little. Where do you feel that same spot? Okay, go ahead and relax. So we got some pictures up here, and one of the things that we're gonna see on the x-ray is the sacrum is actually inferior on this left side. And you can see her lumbars follow suit with that. So that's like the classic compensation, which is why we feel things um, uh, compensating up higher as well. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is organize the pelvis and the sacrum in a better position. And we wanna see some immediate change right at that lumbosacral joint. So I'm going to put some clockwise rotation in here. And we just want to give guidance to that sacroiliac joint. And if we do it right, just immediately, we should start to see some improvement. Uh, the leg length is good. So if I leave you on these blocks, that's pretty, pretty much exactly where you want them to be. And still the leg length stays perfect here. So we know we're doing good there. Now that compression in the low back, is that still there? Yeah. Percentage, uh, is it better, same, or worse? Mm, it's better. What percentage better? Uh, well, I'd say almost entirely. Okay, but you can still feel it just a tad. Mm -hmm. So it's not perfect. Not perfect. Okay, progress, not perfection, that's okay. Usually when it's not feeling perfect right after and she's still feeling it in there, it's either due to damaged tissue or that joint is just stuck. So we're gonna get in there and adjust that sacroiliac joint. You ready for that? I'm ready. All right, let's rock and roll. Go ahead and lie on your right side, facing me right over here. Okay. Up here. So I want to get just that sacroiliac joint and already I feel her low back starting to click. So I know there's some pretty decently mobile joints, but we want to get right on that sacroiliac joint. So I'm going to isolate that. Good. And just relax there. Beautiful. Okay. Go ahead and lie on your back. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Pull your tummy tight, squeeze your knees tight. And that's nice and strong. Go ahead and lie on this side. You did really good there. Okay. All right. And we're just gonna take out some counter rotation here. So this will just be quick and easy. There you go. Great job. Okay, go ahead and go face up again. Pull your tummy tight, squeeze your knees tight. 
Okay, we're gonna redo some of those tests, but while we're here, let's get that stress off your spinal cord, those nerves down into the fingers and toes, right down to the calf. And good neck release usually gets a lot of benefits down to the low back too. Okay, right there. Excellent. Whew, it's a sound of healing. That was nice. Okay, just relax those shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Okay, great. Go ahead and turn to your side and you're gonna push yourself up. I'm right behind you. And we wanna to turn to the side so that we don't um, use the stomach muscles, putting pressure on the SI joint. So go ahead and drop your legs and push yourself up right here. Good, that's okay, mm -hmm. pain free? Pain free. Awesome, let's go ahead and go face down. Okay, the immediate thing I wanna check, now that you've gotten off the table and back on is, how's the leg length look? And it looks perfect. Now we have no blocks on there. That left leg is longer. That means the SI joint is in better mechanical position. How's that low back feel? Feels good. Great. Looking good. All right. Um, go ahead and lift straight leg as high as you can on me and uh, try to lift that left leg uh, straight up. Okay, that was dynamite. Felt good. Yeah. Much more confident. Yeah. Let me see the right one and see if that would improved as well. Yeah, you're killing it. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, go ahead and stand up there. That was really nice. Okay, so overall, how that feel? Feel really good. Let's shake it out a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everything moved beautifully. So when everything changed well, and just a little healing, a little sleep, stay moving, you'll be ready to rock. Okay, that's okay. good. Thank you so much.